Good morning all of you and here is a series of phrase created problem by me. So let's see how JE advanced new creation looks like. And before you see the solutions of this, it's better if you try by yourself. So here is the first question. Let k equal to 0 to n minus 1 to the power k n c k n minus k to the power n is n. Then we have to find the value of this summation. Of course, this was created last year, so I kept 2023. You could expect 2024 in a similar fashion. Now, the beauty of this question is one thing is you can first play with the feeling of k. So let's say let's put some number. If k equal to zero, it will give n c zero n to the power n. Next plus k equals one will give minus one n c one n minus 1 to the power n then we have plus n c 2 n minus 2 to the power n and so on so forth at n equals k we are going to get minus 1 to the power k k c k and when k is equals n okay so it will be n c n sorry and the last term what we are going to get is k equals n is minus 1 to the power n n c n 0 to the power n now you can clearly see this is giving a feel of inclusion exclusion principle so let's say if you have 1 2 3 n distinct objects in set a and n distinct object in set b so how many on two functions are there from set A to set B. So clearly since this set contains equal number of objects, so if each element has to map, okay, exhaust each of the possibilities, the only possibility is it has to be one, one. There is no other way. Okay, so number of on two functions here in this particular example has to be a bijective function, one one in on two. Hence it will be n factorial. Now we can do the same counting in a different way to understand the summation s of n given now one way of doing this is out of inclusion exclusion i am going to use okay so out of n element in set of b how many on two functions are there so let's see the number of sets having exactly one empty when no one is going to one then how many such functions will be there so clearly i can select nc1 for one not to be selected which is nc1 similarly i could have selected nc2 like two not to be elected or three not to be elected and so on so forth and the remaining two three four till n one two three four till n will have how many options n minus 1 options so 1 will have n minus 1 option similarly 2 is having n minus 1 option n is having n minus 1 option so the total number of ways in which 1 is not mapped is n c 1 n minus 1 to the power n and this already considers the case when 2 is also not mapped 3 is also not mapped and so on now how many ways are there when 2 of them is not mapped so let's say 1 and 2 is not not mapped so i'll select any 2 out of n now remaining will have n minus 2 options n minus 2 to the power similarly if 3 of them is not mapped n c 3 n minus 3 to the power okay and so on so forth if none of them is not mapped that will never be possible okay because at least one mapping has to be there in a function world now what is the total number of function for total number of function one is having n choice two is having n choice similarly n is having n choice so total number is n minus n okay so the number of function such that nothing is empty in the output set means everything is mapped is by inclusion exclusion n to the power n minus n c1 n minus 1 to the power n then plus n c2 n minus 2 to the power n minus n c3 n minus 3 to the power n so on so forth so yes of the except sn joy that is actually counting number of bijectic functions or indirectly it is counting n factorial so sn is nothing but n factorial now once we have realized this sn minus sn minus 1 is going to be n factorial minus n minus 1 factorial of that summation from 2 to 
2023 just a telescopic series and this quantity gives you 2023 factorial minus 1 plus 1 2023 factorials by 2022 factorial gives me 2023 as the answer so as you can see this was a good question you know like from very fundamental aspects so pns let's try the second question Ab pe this is quadratic se hi ek acha question I, I created and you can try this px be a polynomial x square minus x plus 1 let m be the root of equation not necessarily real of this expression okay so m satisfies p of p of p of p of m clear that equals 0 the opposite puts right the value of pm minus 1 into pm p of pm into p of p of p of Now the motivation for the question is how we can generate this term okay p of m minus 1 into pm now that looks a little bit uh, related to x square minus x plus x so p of x is nothing but x into x minus 1 plus 1 so if i write instead of x if i keep let's say p of m is any number okay p of m whatever it is because p of m not necessarily be 0 m is the root of this expression not p of m let's say p of m 4 o 5 o to se fark nahi padta so since p of x is x into x minus 1 plus 1 to p of m into p of m minus 1 jo aa jayega that will become what plus 1 equals p of p of m right so instead of this i could write p of p of m minus 1 now we have p of p of m minus 1 into next term is p of p of m and that's cool because this term itself becomes again instead of x now this time if i'll put p of p of m i'll get this expression so that is becoming p of p of p of m right again minus 1 and that's the good news because now this again reacts with the next term so we have triple p of m minus 1 times triple p of m so it's kind of chain reaction you can see we have this chain initiator then that has propagated and finally it's terminating process because at the end the chain has terminated how because this into this again is p of p of p of p of m okay for iteration of p and p of p of p of m for iteration is zero so yeah minus one are right? uh, yeah this for iteration p of will be this minus one so it will be zero minus one which is minus one as that so yeah we both the a chap problem the this cancer minus one are right? okay so they go like yeah, both problem was logically simple only like in upload thought process develop karnoga in the first question maybe you would have tried with uh, smaller values to find the pattern whenever you see large is 2023 2024 the smaller values say pattern finding cars so next question could it yes and which of the following are even age or are even so you know if a function co if i differentiate f dash x i'm going to get ln of x plus root over one plus x square okay now this function is an odd function clearly it's odd how clearly so suppose if you take this as psi of x this is psi of x so what is psi of x plus psi of minus x that is going to log x plus root over 1 plus x square plus log minus x plus root over 1 plus minus x square x square. log a into b so we will get x 1 plus x square minus x square and log 1 is 0 the clearly psi is odd so if psi is odd means this quantity also so the function must be even so that is derivative is odd that also you can prove if a function is even f of x should be f of minus x so its derivative will be f dash x provided the function should be differentiable minus x and i can see if i'll take f dash x as a new function let's say phi of x so phi of x equals minus phi of minus x it means phi is an odd function 
तो सिंस फॉर ऑप्शन इट डेरिवेटिव इज ऑड तो एफ ऑफ एक्स मस्ट बी इवन ठीक है तो यहाँ पे इवन हो गया सिमिलरली आप सी को भी यू कैन चेक बाई डिफरेंट सीटिंग सो दिस विल ऑल्सो बी एन इवन फंक्शन बी ऑल्सो यू कैन चेक बाई डिफरेंट सीटिंग इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग इट विल बी एन इवन फंक्शन एंड डी विल बीवन सो ऑल ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट हेयर ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे चलते हैं और ये ये भी बहुत एक अच्छा क्वेश्चन है दिस हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम सम सोर्स ओके सो दिस आर नॉट क्रिएटेड लेट ए बी द सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉजिटिव नेचुरल फैक्टर्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स एंड पी बी दिस इंटीग्रल देन द वैल्यू ऑफ टू पी बाय एन इक्वल्स एल एन के वी हैव टू फाइंड के मीन्स टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ टू पी बाय अब दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग फर्स्ट कैन यू थिंक ऑफ ऑल द पॉसिबल फैक्टर्स ऑफ पी सो थाउजेंड कैन बी रिटर्न एज फाइव क्यूब इंटू टू क्यूब तो इसके पास कितना फैक्टर्स है क्योंकि फाइव क्यूब मीन्स आइर आई कैन टेक फैक्टर वन फाइव फाइव स्क्वायर और फाइव क्यूब और फ्रॉम टू क्यूब आई कैन टेक आइर वन टू टू स्क्वायर एंड टू क्यूब तो फैक्टर्स विल भी सम कम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस लेट से वन वन विल भी फैक्टर वन टू विल भी फैक्टर वन टू ए स्क्वायर एंड वन इंटू टू क्यूब ठीक है सिमिलरली फाइव इंटू वन फाइव इंटू टू फाइव इंटू टू इसको फाइव इंटू टू क्यूब तो यहाँ पे फर्स्ट बॉक्स में हाउ मेनी पॉसिबिलिटीज आते हैं फोर सेकेंड बॉक्स में कितना पॉसिबिलिटीज है मेरे पास फोर टोटल नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स विल भी सिक्सटीन ओके सो आई नो लाइक सेट ए कंटेंट्स एक्चुअली सिक्सटीन अब दिस सिक्सटीन कंटेंट्स फैक्टर्स लाइक वन ऑल्सो वन वन एंड वन कॉल आइट्स एंड इंटायर नंबर ऑल्सो लाइक फाइव क्यूब एंड टू क्यूब कॉल आइट्स ठीक है जो भी हो अब ऑब्वियसली ये माइनस टू से टू गिव्स अ हिंट ऑफ अप्लाइंग किंग्स रूल बिकॉज ऑफ द सिमेट्रिसिटी वैसे भी लॉग वॉग है तो किंग्स रूल आप लगाओगे तो क्या आ जाएगा एक्स विल बिकम माइनस एक्स माइनस टू टू एक्स लॉन ए वन टू द पावर माइनस एक्स प्लस ए टू द पावर माइनस एक्स एंड ब्ला 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 ए एन टू द पावर माइनस एक्स ट्वेंटी एक्स नाउ वट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन एड दिस टू इंटीग्रल्स अब बिफोर वी एड थोड़ा इसको सिंप्लीफाई कर लेते हैं माइनस टू जी से टू एक्स लॉन अभी देखो वन बाई ए वन टू द पावर एक्स प्लस वन बाई ए टू टू द पावर एक्स करते करते वन बाई इनफैक्ट ए सिक्सटीन हो जाएगा ठीक है हमारे पास सिक्सटीन टर्म ही है सो आई एम राइटिंग ए सिक्सटीन ओनली बिकॉज आई नो ए एन विल गो टू ए सिक्सटीन इट डजन मैटर आप कैसे भी लिखो लेकिन वो फील आ रहा है दिस डी एक्स नाउ इट्स नॉट वेरी सरप्राइज टू ऑफ दिन so by adding two of them we'll get टू p equals minus टू 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 x ln of ए वन टू द पावर एक्स ला प्ला प्लस ए एन का पावर एक्स माइनस अगेन इफ आई टेक एक्स कॉमन लॉन ऑफ वन बाई ए वन टू द पावर एक्स ला प्ला वन बाई ए सिक्सटीन टू द पावर एक्स दिस डी एक्स अब इसको वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई नाइसली क्योंकि ये लॉन ए बाई बी हो गया तो यहाँ से आ जाएगा ए वन टू द पावर एक्स टिल ए सिक्सटीन टू द पावर एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वन बाई ए वन टू द पावर एक्स ठीक है प्लस वन बाय ए टू टू द पावर एक्स से करते करते वन बाय ए सिक्सटीन टू द पावर एक्स लॉन ऑफ दिस टू नो हाउ वी कैन राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो दैट्स रियली नाइस बिकॉज वाट वी कैन सी फ्रॉम एयर इज इफ आई टेक एल सी एम ऑफ दिस डिनोमिनेटर So we'll have a1 till a16 product to the power x, and upper me apart from a1 everything will present a1 a3 till a16 to the power x. Then apart from a2 a1 a3 a16 everything will present like this. We'll have 16 term. Last term will be a1 till a15 except a16 everything will be present. Okay. Now this we can write in a nice way. How? Because this we can. Think like this. So this divided by this is going to be a one to the power x plus a two to the power x till a sixteen to the power x into this to the power minus one. Right. So now, go when when we have some number, let's say n here thousand is there. So what does basically a one to a sixteen represent? A one to a sixteen represent their product. We already know, like one of the factor will be let's say one for thousand. So other will definitely be thousand, right? जैसे मैं यहाँ पे अगर ये देखूँ, so we have selected five q and two 
5 cube and 2 cube uh, 5 cube and 2 cube so in this factor we have seen like 1 2 2 a square 2 cube and let's say 1 5 5 a square 5 cube this may say some factor we have taken let's say when 1 goes to 1 so one of the factor is 1 then automatically it's the counterpart factor or conjugate factor will be 1000 right similarly when I take one of the factor as 2 into 5 so there is definitely a factor which is conjugate of this means 2 a square and 5 a square so that the point is you can segregate this factor like 16 factor into 8 groups okay in a different style in what style so that you keep you know one number p here as a part of factor and q as a part of factor such that pq is always thousand that's possible thousand thousand five into two is thousand thousand like this so, so we'll have just eight count over here so if i multiply all factor how what basically i'm getting is the thousand into thousand into thousand how many times eight times so a1 to a16 is nothing but thousand to the power let's move to the next question s is the set of cos pi by 20 22 plus i sin pi by 20 22 power n number of distinct element in set s as n takes all natural numbers so one way is you can put n equals 1 2 3 and keep on playing okay because you know it's cos theta plus i sin theta type to the power n so that can be written as cos n theta plus i sin n theta using the wise theorem so this come as we like sakte na so this come as we like sakte cos n pi plus i sin n pi whole to the power 1 by 2022 as we like diya now this quantity is what cos n pi is plus minus 1 hoga depending upon value of 1 by 2022 so it's either 1 to the power 2022 or minus 1 to the power 1 by 2022 so here we will have 2022 roots all distinct because on the unit circle it will be dividing unit circle into 2022 parts here minus 1 to the power 1 by 2022 20, 20, different roots so the total the answer is 4044 Next question is number of ordered pair of real number x, y says that x belongs to 0 to pi by 2. Okay. And this expression is valid. So clearly, you can see all these expressions are positive because x is 0 to pi by 2, hence sin x is definitely positive. It will in fact go from 0 to 1. Okay. And exponential any a to the power x is always positive independent of what y is. So here I can apply AMGM and if I apply AMGM on this both chunk. Okay, let's check this chunk as a and this is b. So clearly a plus b by 2 is greater than equal to root a. Just see apply karoge, so it's greater than equal to 2 times sin x cos x y to power 1. Now this is given as sin 2x. So it means sin 2x is greater than equal to 2 times sin x cos x in this. So here I can write sin 2x is greater than or equal to 2 times and we can write that as sin 2x by 2 whole to the power y minus y square f. I shall accept that. Okay. So now you can see from here, here I have come from sin 2x is greater than or equal to sin 2x to the power y minus y square by 4 into 2 divided by 2 to the power y minus 